The access road to Zermatt is flanked by steep mountain slopes and in the direct path of potential avalanches. When there's a high risk, explosives experts go up in helicopters and throw charges at the unstable snow layers to set off avalanches. That's routine work for Stefan Anthematen. He does this about 300 times every year. We have a large area prone to avalanches. It has a two and a half kilometer long potential line of breakage. In a situation like this, it's generally better to proceed with a conventional method of controlled blasts, since you can see in which direction the snow has piled up after the explosion. To keep avalanches in check, besides these tried and true methods, Zermatt is breaking new ground in terms of monitoring and sounding the alarm. At 1,800 meters above sea level, high above the entrance to the town, an avalanche warning system has been installed. It's the first of its kind in the world and uses radar technology to monitor the start of avalanches. The system was devised by Geo Prevent, a company in Zurich. Here, the system is monitoring a two-kilometer portion of the opposite slope. Our system uses a similar principle to the kind of radar that detects speeding cars. We send a radar wave towards the mountain, and if something starts to move, we receive a signal. Once the signal is received, the system evaluates the data in real time. If an avalanche is detected, the road is immediately closed automatically. With the uppermost radar, we monitor the higher portion of the mountain, up to about 2,400 meters above sea level. This system tries to detect an avalanche as soon as it begins, since we only have a very limited amount of time to close the road below. These images from a year ago show what an avalanche would look like. This avalanche was artificially triggered. It reached the road below. Since the radar system has been put in operation, there haven't been any avalanches of this magnitude. Nevertheless, Zermatt has been able to correctly detect a few smaller ones. Yesterday morning, for instance, there was an alarm at 8.24. We could instantly see where it was developing and observe how it broke below the Weisshorn. The avalanche wasn't in the range of the lower radar, so no emergency measures were triggered. Thanks to this information, we could correctly evaluate the risk and decide to open the road again. We were able to raise the barriers directly from our desks.